woke up tired, your boss may be the key to a better night's sleep. A study out this morning says a flexible work schedule could lead to more sleep and better health. A separate CDC analysis says 30% of employees report getting six hours or less of sleep a night. Dr. Carol Ash is director of sleep medicine at Meridian Health in New Jersey and joins us at the table. Good to see you again, Carol. Same here, Carol. So first, I'm curious about what the study showed, and then second, what's the conversation people should be having with their boss? Well, this is an interesting <laughs> study, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of conversations. Wide open with in this yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> on many levels, yeah. But they looked at employees, <laughs> and they had managers be more aware of what they needed to do for their employees to allow their employees to have flexible schedules and meet family needs. And so they trained them over three months. They put this intervention in place. And after a year, they realized that these employees were now getting eight more minutes a night of sleep, which will add up to an hour a week. Sounds small but significant. And when we look at daylight savings time where many people are transitioning at the same time and losing an hour of sleep, you see an increased risk of heart attacks. So an hour of sleep matters. You need seven to eight hours as per the CDC and not getting it has significant health consequences. The cardiovascular disease, diabetes, weight gain, amongst many other things. But you're right, eight minutes a night does sound very small. Yes, yes. But you know, when again, when you look at the health impact to the employees, it's important because when when you're an organization, when your employees aren't well, that's going to increase your insurance mm -hmm. costs. When you're not getting enough sleep, your productivity goes down, critical thinking, you're more likely to engage in risky behaviors. So it's significant. You have employees that are showing up, but they're not really there working for you. So bottom line, a more flexible work schedule means your employees may get more sleep and may help your bottom line. But I think a lot of people have jobs where they have to be there at a certain time. Mm -hmm. Certainly we do here as journalists, people who work in a school or a doctor's office, you got to be there at a certain time. Well, that's exactly right. But the neat thing about this study is it's saying that if you train managers to be more socially aware of what your employees need, you can make a difference with small changes. It's like taking the mayonnaise mm -hmm. out of your food every day. You're going to lose weight. So a person can't do it alone. We all have to do it together. You know, it takes that village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there are things we could do. And I take it one step further, not just social you know, schedules and family needs. Bring in training about sleep habits yeah. and screening for sleep disorders. It could go a long way. And, and emphasize productivity. Yes, absolutely. And millions of dollars. I mean, it's been shown time and time again. You're talking about millions of dollars in savings for companies. So it's worth it to make the effort. All right, Dr. Carol Ash, good information. Thank you so much.